It's a special corner of the world where two rivers wind through the hills and coalesce and the Monongahela is born. The winding roads yield a new discovery around each bend. The seasons come and go and come again. There's something never changing and at the same time ever changing. A place to be explored, to be savored, to be celebrated. Come with me on this journey to some of Fairmont's most special places. I don't think you can see a site like this in half of the state of West Virginia. It's just gorgeous. My name's Ronald uh, Fawcett. I'm a superintendent at Valley Falls State Park here in Fairmont, West Virginia. The Valley Falls at one time uh, was a town of over 100 structures, and they had a telegraph office here general store, 18 room motel. In 1852, the railroad came through here. So it's really a beautiful area and it's very unique. You're 700 feet deep down in this valley. Most parks don't have one waterfall, I've got four. And during the rainy season, I have seven. The first one is a 14 foot drop. The second one's an 18 foot drop. The two lower falls is more of a shoot, but they're about a 24 foot drop. We have about 16 miles of hiking trails, and this is excellent fishing right here. There's about everything in the river here. We have uh, muskie, northern pike, bass, trout, you name it, it's here. This is a popular place for people just to bring their families and walk. A lot of photography clubs come out here. My Lord, I'd like to have a nickel for every picture that's taken out here. I'm a country boy and I just like being in the woods. Fresh air, watching the animals run around, that's a lot of fun. I live right on the park. I could tell you every tree and root and rock cliff there is between here and the Tiger Dam. I just treat it like it was my own piece of property, you know. I don't like to see a piece of litter. I don't like to see uh, garbage laying around along the roads or along the trails. I just like you've got a lot of pride, you know, and I've had uh, people come in here from all over the world, and uh, and it's fun to talk to them, and, and they're just awed by the, uh, the awesome depth of the valley. It's about the best I can tell you. It's, it's just gorgeous, and that's why they call this almost heaven, West Virginia. Hi, right, welcome to Prickett's Fort. Won't you come on in? My name's Greg Bray. Uh, I'm the blacksmith here at Prickett's Fort. Prickett's Fort was built in 1774. This is a reproduction fort built in 1976 for the bicentennial. It was built on the land of Jacob Prickett during Lord Dunmore's War, uh, which was pre-Revolutionary War. Life at the fort uh, would have been crowded, dirty, noisy. We try to teach what everyday life was like in the 18th century. I've always had a love for history. I started blacksmithing uh, to hand forged knives, basically. But that evolved into doing uh, historic pieces, uh, doing traditional blacksmithing for the time period. It's quiet when no one's in the park. Uh, you you kind of walk around and think who was here, what they were doing, what kind of problems they had in life. Take the cemetery, for instance. You walk through there and you see all the children's graves. 
what we're going through, the parents' minds. It was back during the time of some of the flu epidemics and things. And you take them stories and you, you try to imagine what it was like. So if you are visiting Fairmont, the American County area, stop by and see us. If you live in, in Fairmont area and haven't been out for a while, we welcome you to come out and enjoy the day with us. My name is Rita Hall, and I'm standing in the round barn built by the Hamiltons in Mannington, West Virginia. It was built in 1912 because of a daughter who had polio. They took her to Pittsburgh to the doctor, and on the way they saw this round barn, and since he was going to build a barn for a dairy barn, they were fascinated by it and got the plans and came back and built it. Today we're using it as a museum. It contains a lot of farm equipment as well as some other things that have been preserved. Well, I think it's a great place to come to visit because it is one of the only ones remaining in West Virginia. And it's fascinating with its architecture because um, of the way it is constructed. Being raised in the country myself, I think one of the unique things to me is that I have operated several of the things that are in the barn, uh, and it just is fascinating to me to see what I have done as a child. It's just been a part of my life, and uh, seeing these things and remembering them. <laughs>